and rolling here. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jennifer Fries, Jenny Fries. I'm the owner of Starstruck Artistry. Um, and we're, that is where we do, we specialize in special occasion hair and makeup. So we have a studio located in Oshkosh, but we do all of our services on demand and on location, which makes it really, really fun. Um, it's a little bit different now during this time, but um, hopefully things will start to go back to normal very shortly here. Um, what I'm really excited to talk to you guys tonight about is a few of the lines that I've chose to um, partner with within Starstruck Artistry in my studio and salon. And I really just want to give you guys an idea of what I've done, what, what's worked very well for me, maybe what hasn't worked so well, um, you know, where the beauty industry is going for me personally, the beauty industry and the evolution of that has always been something that interests me. And I love to keep up with the trends and figure out what's going on, but it's very hard to do sometimes. And to have this platform and this company behind me, it helps me so much, um, which I'll go into a little bit about as well as we continue. But um, this is for you guys just to get education, just to share this with those that you know in the beauty industry. Um, this can be beneficial for so many people. And we're going to see some numbers. We're going to talk about some different avenues um, within the beauty industry and things like that. Um, but how can, you know, I help you and how can, you know, whoever invited you onto this webinar, how can they help you and, you know, put you in a good situation as well. Um, so typically what I like to do when I host these overviews is I typically like to have them in person. There we go. I was going to say, why is it loading? Um, I typically like to have them in person. Of course, right now that's not an option. So luckily we have it all where we can do it online with Zoom and it works so nicely. So bear with me as some of this, um, presentation, you know, of course, is made to be in person. But tonight, we're really going to be going over, you know, how we can best service you as a beauty professional and what we what tools we can give you along the way as well. I think right now is um, such a valuable time to be able to utilize all of these online tools and things. We're seeing a lot of things that we're doing, not only in the beauty industry, but throughout the world all these new things that we're starting to implement in all different businesses, we're going to keep doing this as, um, you know, a lot of us will keep working from home and a lot of us will use these Zoom tools to meet with clients outside of, you know, when the norm goes back to normal, right? Like this, this will become our new normal. So that's what I want to show you guys is a lot of these things that we are talking about within the beauty industry. We've been doing for a long time prior to this, but it just so happens that right now it's, helped us so much as beauty professionals be able to service our clients and be there for our clients even when we physically can't be. So beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Just kind of a fun little quote here. Um, I just love that. I love that they throw those in there. So the beauty industry and the demand of it, um, it's got estimated growth of over 57% over eight years, you guys. So the beauty industry is constantly growing. It doesn't matter, you know, if we're in a recession or what we're in, they always say that lipstick is the, it will always sell, you know, and no matter what, you know, what, what the world looks like, the beauty industry continually will grow. It might not grow as much as they thought it would, but it's still going to continue to grow, which is a good marketplace to be in. You know, so this is just showing that the anticipated growth from um, went from four, $432 billion in 2016 um, to 750 estimated to 2024. And 90% of the decisions that we make are emotional and thinking about what, we, what will drive the beauty industry's growth and change in the year to come. Emotion is at the forefront. After all, what can be more emotional than beauty? So when people, you know, this is just showing that when people are making decisions, a lot of it is emotional based. And I'm going to show you a little bit how we get to position ourselves, you know, into that one-to-one -one atmosphere and, you know, work alongside that as well. Um, you have to figure out how to position yourself within this industry. And I think that was something so important for me. And one thing that stuck out to me when I was in beauty school, when I was in school in general, I guess, but when I was in school learning about all of this, being a salon owner was not in the forefront of my mind. To be honest with you guys, when I first started my career in, um, I look back and kind of almost chuckle a little bit because our life kind of is going that direction, but isn't at the same time. So when I first started my career in the beauty industry, the reason, the number one reason I got into it was I really did love doing what I did in the beauty industry. I thought it would be fun. I was always really into makeup and hair and all that, 
but I looked at the long-term side of things and I thought I always wanted to be a mom. And I thought that with this position, I can position myself in the beauty industry. I can make my own hours. You know, of course, as a hairstylist, you can do that. Not always, but that was my thinking. I can make my own hours. I'm not going to have to work many hours. I can be a state part stay at home mom and I can be a mom and be a hairstylist, right? So that was my way of thinking. I got into the industry and I fell in love. I never felt like I fit into anything. I was never the best in school. I never had good grades. You know, all these things, I never felt good enough. And when I'm in the beauty industry, I finally felt like I fit in and I loved that. So I fell in love with it. And then I started getting that business mind a little bit and was like, how can I leverage, you know, being a hairstylist and a makeup artist? Okay, I need to own my own business, right? So that is a way that we've found in the industry on how to leverage and take, you know, make the best out of, you know, what we're doing, of course. But what I'm here to show you is that, yes, it is so beneficial to own your own business or studio or all of that within the beauty industry. But how can you as a hairstylist, as a makeup artist, who maybe you work alone, maybe you're a booth renter, maybe you're, I mean, it could go all the way up to photography in the fashion world. It could be anything. How can you leverage yourself as a artist? And maybe you are just working by yourself and you're not leveraging the talents of other people and it is just you. And that's completely okay. But how can you leverage that, right? So as a Moda's beauty advisor, you can position yourself in the middle of the purchasing power to earn a piece of the pie. So people are going to be buying products and services from somewhere, right? It doesn't matter what the time looks like. They're going to be going... I, I like to think that makeup will never go away because women will spend money on makeup no matter what. If you can offer them a good price, a quality product, and their trust in you, then they will keep coming back and they will buy it from you. So the profits have to go somewhere. You know, offering, like I just said, the best products in the marketplace at the most competitive price is key. It's very hard when I talk with people. Um, you know, I was very business minded from the get go when I partnered with. Um, motives cosmetics to bring this within what I was doing um, as a bridal artist and a makeup artist and things like that I knew one thing the number one thing when I was looking at makeup lines was I needed to be able to retail this to my clients and that was huge because I knew that they were gonna buy it from someone else if I didn't offer them that opportunity so that was at the forefront of my mind when I was looking into different lines now the problem that came with this was that there are very few lines in the professional world that you can retail. A lot of them you can get, um, you can get pro discounts and you can get discount on the product, which is great. Don't get me wrong, but you will sign an agreement that you will not retail that to your client, which to me just isn't fair. And I'll show you guys how we have different partnerships and things like that down the way here. But, um, just keep all this in mind. And maybe you're not looking for a makeup line. Maybe you're into skincare. Maybe you're into hair care. Maybe you're into personal care or health and wellness, but you want to, you know, you need to implement something new into your space. Maybe you're watching that way. So, you know, even if I'm saying makeup, 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 know that we have more and I'll talk about that in a second too. So don't make that, you know, don't jump off completely now just hearing that. But um, you just have the ability to leverage a proven business system, which I'm going to talk about. So this is something that just gets me all fired up. If you can't tell already, I took some, a lot of vitamin Bs before I had jumped on here, some turn up. Um, but the traditional salon has, it's a $43 billion industry, you guys. That's huge. Um, that, that's great. That's, that's awesome. That, that is that big. But here are some of the challenges that come alongside of the traditional business salon model. And don't get me wrong. I was on this road to opening my own salon. I own my own studio. Like there are definitely perks to this avenue, right? But here are some of the challenges that we see that we face. 60% of hairstylists are freelance or independent booth renters. We're seeing that this has been a little bit of an issue right now with the world that we're living in. Um, freelancing seems like a great idea. Um, you can make a lot of money freelancing and as a, a booth renter, independent stylist, whatever you want to call it, you can do very, very well but it is very challenging and you own your own business. And I think a lot of times hairstylists don't quite understand that they, they own their own business. You know, they have to pro provide all their own products and things like that. You have to have a business mind as well to go alongside with your creativity um, with this. So they're just showing that over half of the industry is independent or booth renter, right? Diversion. Ooh, I could talk about that all day. So the, exclusive professional products 
that we are able to carry within our um, salons. And I go back to being able to retail products, right? So these, there are few, I mean, not few, there are quite a few um, exclusive products, professional products that we can carry in salons or spas or whatever that looks like. But what is happening is the diversion of these products. There are big box real um, realtor, re, retailers, realtors, re, retailers that are able to buy a lot more and they can actually sell it at like Walmart, Walgreens, all these places. And it doesn't mean you'll hear a lot of times that, oh, the product's not the same or it's, it's been um, diluted or whatever. And sometimes, yes, that might be the case, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes the case is matter of fact that these big box stores have more money than we as a, you know, independent artist or a salon owner have. They can purchase by bulk. They can get that those products for way less than we can. They can sell it at retail for lo less than we as a professional can buy them for. This is where it's getting very, very crazy within the industry and the exclusivity is going away. And I think that when I was looking for a line, I was looking for a few different things with all. I look for this in hair and makeup and anything that I carry. I look for exclusivity. I look for that I can retail it. And I look for the quality, right? You want all those things because you want people to keep coming back. So exclusivity is so huge and you'll hear it and you'll hear people talk about, oh, it's not that big of a deal anymore. And for me personally, I just feel like exclusivity is a key point because you want them to be able to get it. You want your clients to be able to trust you and get the product from you. And you do not understand how many times you guys, and I know I'm talking to a lot of artists and salon owners and things, I will have my clients sitting in my chair on Amazon looking for the product that I'm recommending to them. And as a client, they don't know that that hurts us as an industry, you know, unless you straight out tell them. And sometimes I have a hard time saying that, you know, but what I love is now I position myself where everything that I carry, they can actually go on my website and purchase it. So maybe it is more convenient for them to purchase online. I don't want to take that away from them. You know, buying online is so convenient definitely right now, right? So how can we figure out a way to keep our products exclusive, but also offer the, um, the competitiveness and the, um, what I want to say, the um, easy way of ordering online, convenience <laughs> of ordering online. You know, you want to have a little bit of all of that. The other big thing is your best stylist can become your competition. And that to me, I don't believe in competition when it comes to really anything or the, for the beauty industry for that matter. And I just love that we can offer a way to eliminate that and actually level the playing field and give us all this opportunity to work together. And for me, a big goal of mine has been, you, my, you can talk to my boss who I've been working for for 10 years. She said, you've always had this thing in you that you wanted to um, help and bring all the industry back together. And I've always been like that before I partnered with motives and, you know, this company but long before I've always wanted to bring everybody together. And it used to be like that a long time ago. And we're losing and losing that little by little as we go on. I feel ongoing education and marketing can be so expensive. And I learned this when I, I think I took, I, I know I, I work two days a week also in a traditional salon doing cuts and colors and things. And I know I took a lot of this for granted when I, when I worked there before I owned my own business, because it is expensive and it's a lot of work. And, you know, you always wonder like, why aren't we doing this? Why aren't we doing that? We should be doing this as a salon. And, and it's, it's a lot of work. There's a lot that goes into it. So to be able to, um, offer easy tools to use is huge. So these are just some of the challenges that are faced with a traditional salon. And don't get me wrong, traditional salons can be wonderful. We need them. We need to keep our industry, you know, flir uh, you know, going and have these in place as well. So there's a, there's a place for traditional salons as well. So some of the industry disruptors, which I like to think that these aren't necessarily disruptors. If we can find a way to evolve around with them, that's what's important. So these are some of the big trends when it comes to what's happening within the industry. So one of the big things is if you've heard of dry bar, um, which is franchise focused service. And what a dry bar is, is where you go just to get a blowout. And I have looked into franchising, you know, this in general and other lot, um, companies and opening a dry bar and having this luxury service um, it, 
it just is something really fun. I think it's a cool new addition to our industry, to be quite honest with you. The next one is Glam Squad, which is called the Uber of Beauty, um, which is on-demand services. You can actually go on an app and have somebody come right to your house. So when I actually created Starstruck Artistry, I looked into a lot of these different things and Glam Squad was one of the big, um, what do I want to say, like influencers kind of within Starstruck and what they've done um, is so huge. And we don't see this in Wisconsin quite yet. Um, it's only in certain states as of right now. But um, I wanted to bring, be able to bring beauty to my consumer. And I thought that um, Glam Squad did a great way of doing that. So I've taken a lot of what they did. Instead of making it a disruptor, I've kind of incorporated it in alongside of my business, which I really love. Another big disruptor is Groupon. Um, which I know a lot of you have probably heard of. Groupon is um, like a money saving website or app where um, you can put your services on there and they customers can get a deal on those. What ends up happening is that a lot of, and I just bought something from Groupon the other day, so don't get me wrong, I do use it. Um, but a lot of the times when it comes to service-based products on Groupon, there's a lot of people that are just jumping around and you're the clientele or the um, you're not retaining your clients is what I should say is they're just kind of going and looking for discounted services, you know, so on and so on diversion. So I was just talking about that, you know, that there's no exclusivity or profitability. These big brands go direct to the consumer and there's no more of that one to one, um, you know, personal touch anymore. Um, diversion is kind of taking over our industry and just kind of, you know, wiped everything out, which is unfortunate. And we have to figure out ways to Every time I see a, pro a problem or a disruptor within our industry, I try to, I try to think, how can I, um, you know, how can I evolve and be a part of, you know, the solution instead of the problem? So this is something when I saw this, you know, diversion is huge. And I, I didn't understand what diversion meant until I really did more education and um, really researched it and really figured out what is going on. You know, there's four or five main um, owner or companies, I should say, that own all these little companies. And what ends up happening as well is that, you know, maybe a company owns um, Mac Cosmetics and then they own CoverGirl. I'm just throwing this out there and this is completely not accurate, but they could own a very high end brand and a very, you know, a lower end brand. But what's happening is they're using all the same ingredients, not all the same, but some of the same ingredients in the lower end brand. Um, the lower end and putting them in the higher end, but because that higher end has already been branded and they have a solid following, those customers will keep buying or most of them because they already have, they're already branded. So they can use cheaper ingredients. They can up the price because the branding's already there, but the consumer is not getting a quality product anymore. And that's where we're seeing an issue with the products and why people aren't necessarily happy with what they have or they maybe they bought it in the past and now they're buying it again and it's not the same product as well so there's so much that goes into diversion i could literally talk about it for days it fires me up it gets me motivated to help share what i have found with other people because it is such a big thing within our industry marketing traditional forms of advertising no longer are effective so you're seeing um, you know, the, like these big brands that are doing, you know, radio ads and TV ads and magazine ads are big for beauty, right? That's all going away. And, you know, there, there, it is starting, the marketing is starting to go back to, you know, how can we best get in front of our, our clients? And, you know, we have a, we've positioned ourselves on all of our exclusive lines are available on shop.com. Shop.com is a platform um, similar to a franchise where you can actually put all your exclusive products on there, have them available to your customers, but your customers can get cash back. So it's a really great opportunity to, to be able to leverage um, e-commerce, but also be able to leverage um, giving back to your clients and giving them that deal. You know, this group on this discount services, they're getting money in back into their pocket. Think ahead, you guys. Think about how you can best service your clients. Think of different ways. And that's what I'm trying to show you is these products that I'm talking to you about might not be for you or your salon, but you have to be thinking about different ways that you can be ahead of what's going on. And that's what this is about today. So beauty influences, influencers are another big avenue of marketing for a lot of these big beauty brands. And unfortunately, what's happening is 
people are trusting these beauty influencers that they don't even know. And these companies are paying them money to promote their product. And that beauty influencer may not even enjoy using that product or they may not even think it works, but they're going to promote it because they're getting paid to, right? So it's just kind of looking in, making sure you're trusting who you're buying products from um, and making sure you know what you're getting. It's just huge trust. So I do have a few solutions, you know, as I'm talking about all of this. And for me in my, you know, business as an uh, artist at Starstruck Artistry, we are constantly looking at the trends and what's coming, how we can better evolve for our clients. What can we do to make our client experience the best? Because when it comes down to it is the experience is what keeps your customers coming back. Um, and also right alongside that is the products as well, right? But if you can give them a wonderful experience and then you can pack it up with some awesome, um, high quality science driven products, you've got it all. I really do believe that. So what is our solution? We have an entrepreneurial opportunity. You can be in business for yourself, but you're not by yourself. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. We're not going to get too much into this today, but if you want to learn more, I'm going to um, show you some different steps you can take towards the end. Um, you know, like I was talking about, I wanted to create my schedule. I wanted to, um, you know, be able to spend time when I have a family and do all this stuff. And I thought being a hairstylist was going to be the answer. And I soon found out I'm working harder than I've ever worked as a hairstylist. The hours, the time, the, the, the mentally, emotionally, physically, it's just, it, it, I love it, but it can be very draining. And definitely during times, you know, like what's going on right now is my schedule is going to be I'm, I was off for a lot of weeks and now it's going to go back to being a little bit crazy. And I love it. I love my clients. So I'm excited to go back, but um, this could give you that opportunity to maybe cut back your schedule, which I've actually done um, already. And I've not been in the industry too long, you know, just a little over 10 years now. And um, I've already had that opportunity to step back and I'm not going to overwork myself, um, you know, cause you can only trade so much time for money, right? You know, and determine your worth. That's the biggest thing. Creative control, you are encouraged to brand yourself, to market your products and to service both online and in person. So we're gonna offer you opportunity to have that one-to-one -one relationship with your clients like you always do, no matter what, you know, whatever, no matter what division you're in, no matter what um, company you're in or, you know, position you hold, if you're a hairstylist, a makeup artist, a photographer, whatever, you get that one-to-one -one contact, right? But you also have the ability to leverage an online platform as well to service your clients. The thing I love is that they give you, um, through motives, through all of these things I'm talking about, you're able to get a lot of marketing tools to set yourself up for success, but you get to brand yourself. So I get to use all of these different tools to right alongside Starstruck Artistry, and it makes it so much easier. Um, it saves me time and it saves me money, which is so important. Quality control. So not only are you, is there, um, quality control over the products that you align yourself with, but if the people you're working with as well, you're able to, you know, align yourself with different people that you can now link arms with and you can actually lift up the beauty industry instead of compete with each other, which is so huge. And then the products you align yourself with, we are very, very big on quality control when it comes to our products that come um, through the unfranchised business or marketamericashop.com motives um, all under the same umbrella there, but we are very big with quality control. We actually have two tiers of um, control when it comes to products. We have the manufacturer that checks over everything. And then we as a company also check through everything. So if you want more information on that, I can talk about that another time and get you more info, but just know that you have, there's a lot of quality control within that. The integrity and the culture provided by our company. We set the standard to add value to your existing brand and business, not detract or control the structure. So this is very key, you guys, that what we offer is only going to bring your business up, your traditional business or whatever else you have, your brand, your whatever that is, it's going to bring it up. It's not going to detract from it. And there are a lot of companies and brands, and I have one in my mind, for example, that is a professional brand. I'm not going to say any names, but they only allow you to carry their products in their space, they want their name on everything in your space, right? And to me, that takes away and detracts from your business that you're trying to brand because you have to have their name all over everything to be even able to carry their product. So it's just important that 
you look into that as well and, and figure out what's a good fit for you. And I'm going to talk a little bit, you guys, I hope I opened your eyes up a little bit about, you know, just some of the industry where we're at, where we're going, things like that. But I'm going to spend a little bit of time on what we do offer, the different lines that we have um, and what makes it a little bit different and what partnership options we have and how we can align, um, how I can align um, and help your salon or whoever invited you can align with your salon or spa or brand and help you that way. So how does Motives Cosmetics open the door? People are already purchasing cosmetics. Our goal is only to transfer where and who they're buying from. That's it. What, what are the unique, when people ask me, you know, what makes motives different, you know, and these are some of the things I like to say, it's a very high end prestigious brand, but it's very, very affordable. And I feel like sometimes that can deter people away because the prices, when you look at them, you guys are so affordable. And I'm talking about the retail prices, not even the prices that we as um, get as wholesale at wholesale, but the retail pricing is so affordable. And I liked the, the quality of the products, which I'll talk a little bit about why the quality is so good in a little bit, but the quality of the products, because we are a product broker, is so high end and so um, prestigious. It is incredible. It's a very customizable line. So there's a lot to offer and there's ways to customize it. We actually have a whole customizable um, foundation line where, or cosmetic line, I should say, where you can actually mix foundations and cosmetics to fit your client. And that you even get, it's 150 to 200% retail profit. So it's huge, you guys. That can alone help a salon. Um, you know, you add another service, you add those products, and that is huge um, in there. It complements every age, skin tone, and skin type. So this was something very important to me when I was looking. I wanted to be able to service when I do bridal parties. I wanted that makeup to look good on the flower girl, you know, that's 12 years old, all the way up to the mother or the grandmother of the bride or groom. I wanted to be able to have that array. I didn't want to be having to mix and match all these different lines, which is what I had to do in the past. It's perfect for all occasions, fully pigmented cosmetics. So it's good for photo shoots and fashion shows. So this is good for any time you could be, it could be every, I wear it every single day on my own skin. Um, my, I have clients that wear it daily. Um, but then it has enough pigment and it's, formulated for photography. So it's good for photo shoots and for special events and fashion shows and things like that. It's got the longevity and it is formulated for photography, which is very, very big. There's certain ingredients that are in, um, it, they're kind of like fillers, I like to say, that are in certain cosmetics that when photographed, they do not photograph well and they actually make you look, your skin kind of almost appear ghost-like and they do not photograph well. And there's a lot of high-end brands that have these ingredients in that are not, that are professional product that are used in salons that are not made for photography. And the formulas are um, exclusive to us. So you're not going to find the packaging may look similar because there's only so much packaging that we, you know, as an industry can get a hold of, but the formulas are exclusive to Modus Cosmetics. And of course, no animal testing and it is a cruelty-free line. So, you know, what, what can we offer our clients when we're thinking about all the different things and, and definitely right now, what, what can we do different? What can make us stand out? What are clients going to be looking for? And I think this is so important because when this, you know, when we put together all these different things, these are things that clients that A, have asked me for personally, and I know as a company as a whole, they've done so much research to figure out what clients really are looking for. So those one-to-one -one consultations from trained beauty advisors, um, is so important. So we have so much training that if you're in the industry, or if you're not in the industry, you can actually get trained. Um, and I know for us in Wisconsin, makeup artists do not need a certification or a license at this time. I don't know what that look, looks like in other states, but at this time we don't need one. So you can actually get certified within Modus Cosmetics to become a makeup or in, and use, utilize our products as a makeup artist. So that is really key. And having that one-to-one -one personal customization is huge. Um, professional products at an affordable price, like I talked about, education on beauty from the inside out. So a big thing that I like to do with my clients, you know, going into the next one, customized skincare regimens. These kind of fit together for me personally, because I offer a lot of skincare um, consultations to my clients because the makeup is only as good as what's underneath. So you could, you can do the best makeup, but if, if someone's skin isn't good underneath, then the makeup application isn't going to be the best, right? But where does this get even deeper is 
for me, I like to look at, you know, if people have, you know, rosacea, let's say, or hyperpigmentation or, um, you know, acne or different things like that. A lot of times it's happening from, you know, in the gut or inside the body. So I'm able to take a, an approach internally with beauty from the inside out and mesh some of our wellness products alongside what um, I'm doing with skincare and with the makeup. So it's kind of a full circle and I can really customize an approach to that client and really be able to help them, you know, full circle, which I love. And they're going to keep coming back because I've given them solutions, right? Fun application workshops to build confidence. So this is something that I do. I've been doing it online now and I do in person, obviously when we're, you know, together, but I love being able to offer education like I'm doing today for the beauty professional side of things. I like to do this for my clients as well. And it's something that people are looking for. People are looking for a customized approach and to be able to be around other people and learn. Um, they're looking for education. I hear that over and over again from my clients. Custom formula, color cosmetics with the highest quality ingredients. So when we're not only formulating our products, we're looking for quality ingredients. We are on top of you know, clean ingredients, all of those things. People, I just was on a call the other day on a um, fundraiser I was doing and they were asking about, you know, I, I'm making, I'm very cautious about what I put on my skin and all of this and um, asking about, you know, the quality of the cosmetics and if it's good for your skin and all of that. And I said, yep, we're, we're very high, you know, in, tr in trend, I guess. And we dig deeper and we look, really look at the quality of the ingredients. And we, you know, we don't test on animals and all these things you're seeing with cosmetics, we have already been ahead of the game. We do offer hostess incentives um, to pair with educational retail events. So what I like to do is actually, um, and I think that, I don't know if that's next page. I, we will talk a little bit about that in the hostess incentives, which I will talk about in a little bit. But people are mission statement, people empowering people, the ability to make people look and feel better while achieving the lifestyle they have always dreamed about. So this is by Lauren Reidinger, who was the creator of Motives, and um, her and her husband are the creator of MarketAmericaShop.com, which is the parent company to Motives Cosmetics. So a lot of you probably maybe have heard, what I hear from people is I've heard of Motives Cosmetics, but I don't know where to get it. Um, they've seen it in magazines, you know, such as you know, New York Post, In Touch Magazine, L.com, New York Vogue, all these different places, they've seen motives, but they're just really not sure where to get it because it's not at Ulta or Sephora or your big box stores. And they're, you know, they just don't know where to get it. So this is just showing you that we are present and we are, we're not paying for any of this advertising. This is all just advertising that we were able to get um, because people love our product so much. This is just a quick little video. I don't know if it'll load here. Um, just kind of a fun little video that they made that they threw in here. But um, a lot of people are really looking for our product, but they don't know where to get it. And, and to know that that it is so exclusive to the distributor, the rep, or the you know beauty professional that they can only get it from you is huge. And I absolutely love, love, love that they threw this quote in here because this is absolutely one of my most favorite quotes of all time. Marilyn Monroe is a um, kind of what I modeled my starstruck artistry after. She, there's a lot of um, pieces of her in there. So I love that. So imperfection is beauty. Madness is genius. And it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than absolutely boring. So I love that that is in there. So like I talked about, we're offering clients the personalized skincare regimens. We're able to offer cosmetic consultations and beauty from the inside out. Client relationships are everything to us, and we pride ourselves on being able to service them with the best of the best products across complementary industries. So remember, you guys, I know for everyone listening that's in the beauty industry, most of us, I'm sure, are in the industry because we love making people feel good. I know that's what it's about for me. And if I know that I can help people in many avenues of their world, that makes it so much more worth it for me as well. Like how can I best help support my clients? And I know that's just how my mind thinks. And when I'm sitting with a client, I don't ever think I'm selling them anything or doing everything. And I had to get out of this mindset because this took me a while, but it was like, I know that I'm best servicing them and they're going to need to get these products somewhere. And how can I help them? Right. 
So as the global population grows and the importance of skincare becomes more well-known, the global skincare market is projected to increase from $134.5 billion in 2018 to over $180 billion by 2024. Billion. 180 billion. That is huge, you guys. So why this is on here is to show you guys that if you are not already, I hear this from a lot of beauty professionals, is it can be very overwhelming with all different products, all different services that they can carry, right, in their studio. But if you are not in the skincare arena, you got to get there and you got to get there before it's too late, right? <laughs> um, because it is so key. Clients are looking for these things. How can you best, you know, find the right products for your clients, right? What I love is that when I partnered with Motives Cosmetics, there's a partner company and I'm not going to get into too much detail about all this, but that has multiple divisions within the same company. So I have access to over five skincare lines, a cosmetic line, a wellness line. I even can buy my website from the same company. So there's so much that it offers you guys. And just know that we have different divisions and different heads of all these divisions that are getting the best of the best of each product. So you know you can trust where you're getting all these products from. So just know that the skincare industry is is just growing and going to continue to grow. And if you're not already um, getting a piece of that, you definitely need to look into that. The other big trend that's going to be coming is skincare supplements. Not coming, it probably is already here, um, but skincare supplements. Introducing a supplement into your skincare will, will become commonplace. So people, and I hear all the time, how can I get my hair to grow longer? How can I get my nails to be stronger? How can I get my skin clearer? You know, and I'm just sitting there listening, listening, listening to all what my clients are saying to me and, or for that matter, friends and family for crying out loud. Um, they come to me a lot for beauty advice. If it's with the skin, their hair, their nails, whatever, we'll be out to dinner and be asking me questions. How can I best help them? You know, what can I do? What, what can I offer them? So one of the big things, and I actually got one of them here. I was just having it earlier. Um, if you can see me is the Isotonics Beauty Blend. I recommend this to my clients for like a hair, skin, and nail supplement. Um, they're able to take it, but what makes this so different, you guys, and when you look across the board at all the products that I've chose to partner myself with within this company is that they are top of the line. When you see isotonics here, what this is, I'm just gonna quick go into it a tiny bit, um, not too much, but it just means that it is uh, isotonic. It's isotonics, but it is isotonic, so it is the same it acts as the same pressure as your body, bodily fluid in your body. So your body can absorb it very, very quickly and very efficiently. So just know that there is nothing else out on the market that's anything like this. So this is very different. And when it comes to isotonics, just like when I said, what, why, does mode, why is motives different? Why, is, why are your supplements different? And this is the key reason is because of the absorption. When it comes to anything that we offer, the absorption um, and the delivery system behind it, um, we make sure that your body is actually going to be able to get what it says, um, which is so key. But how can we best support our bodies as, you know, beauty professionals and our clients' bodies, right? And their skin and all of that. But this is a trend you're going to see. You're going to see skincare could be on the rise. You're going to see beauty from the inside out and um, skin supplementation and health and wellness kind of cross over into the beauty industry. And I know something that a lot of salons already have. Um, makeup, a line of cosmetics or a line of skincare, and they love it. And that's great. This is a really awesome place to start. If you're a salon or a beauty professional and you're looking that like you want something different, you want something that nobody else is offering. And I can tell you that there are not a lot of places in my area, um, you know, in Wisconsin that offer something like this. How can you take a deeper approach? How can you better service your clients? And this is it. This is it. How can you do something a little bit different? The supplementation is key. Um, when it comes to that, it's just something different, something that a lot of salons aren't doing, that beauty professionals are not doing. And the biggest thing is your clients trust you and that they will listen to you, you know, and people are going to come to you and, you know, say they need something for their hair, skin, and nails, or maybe they are breaking out on their face, or maybe they're having stomach issues or whatever that looks like. And now you can help them in all different aspects, which is so cool. So 
just offering a, a unique experience. I'm going to go into a little bit of the, bro pro the brokerage company concept and why it is different. So what makes our products a little bit different than anything that's out there? And this is, I feel like the big key thing with all of the products that we do service um, is that because we are a product brokerage company, we do not manufacture any of our products. So we work with multiple different manufacturers and we get to put an exclusive label on our, on that product with our label on it. So nobody else can carry it. The formula is ours. It is exclusive to us, but we are not, we do not have money tied up in manufacturing or advertising for that matter. So that is key. And what I look at when I look at makeup as a whole, there's a lot of companies that do a very good job of having a really good product, but then they try to expand because of course you want to leverage, you want to expand, you want to offer more for your clients, but it's very hard. It's very time consuming and it's very expensive to have the best of the best of everything because there's a lot that goes into making a product, right? So you, it's very hard to have the best mascara and the best eyeliner and the best foundation. And here we have it all. And I promise you, once you get your hands it and try it, I fell in love with absolutely everything. There are a few things that we don't have that I do have to bring in, but it's very, very minimal. So by going directly from the manufacturer to the consumer, we are able to keep costs down and pass along the savings through affordable pricing. And we offer cashbacks to our customers that buy online. As beauty advisors priding ourselves on one-to-one -one marketing, our main goal is to customize the product selection uniquely for you. So like I said, again, it's custom. I work with my clients. They come into me. I do it on Zoom. I do it in person. They email, whatever it looks like. And I will give them a customized regimen, whether that be in cosmetics and skincare and wellness, whatever that looks like. And they have their own personal um, products that they can order online or pick up at my studio. It's huge. They feel so unique because I offer that just for them. And it's going to not only be unique for them, but it's going to combat their issues that they're having and solve their problem, which I think is the biggest thing. And they will keep coming back for more because when you solve a problem for them, they will, they'll, if they see the result, they will keep coming back. Since our business is built on word of mouth, we have a program designed to incentivize and thank you for sharing your experience, which I'll talk about in a second. So one thing that I love to do in my studio is I offer workshops. I, and one thing that I'm going to be starting to do in person, I'm doing it online right now, but you can actually offer workshops and then let's say you have somebody come to that workshop and they really love everything they're doing. Now, the biggest thing for me as a business owner is how can I get in front of more people? How can I build my client base? Um, you know, we all know people that other people don't know, right? So how can I get in front of more people? All right, here's an idea, you guys. So let's say you host an event and one of those people at the event was like, oh my gosh, this would be so fun if we could, if I could invite my girlfriends and we could do this again. I, I know so many people that would love what you're doing. Okay, could you offer some sort of incentive to that guest that came? Something like along the lines of this, where they can get up to $100 in free product and credits as the hostess to be applied towards their purchase if they invite people to your workshops. Ah, that's a great idea because now you're, you're as a business owner getting in front of more people and you're able to retail more products and up your customer base. You're going to be helping more people and you're now going to be helping that guest that you had, give them a discount, give them free product, whatever. And you're going to be willing to do that for them because they brought you so much more. It's like a referral program, I guess is the easiest way to put it. Um, but awesome. The company already has this laid out for you and you can kind of go off of it. And it's a really great way to um, work with that. So some of the workshops that I currently host in my studio, one being beauty basics, this just takes our top 10 modus cosmetics products. It shows your um, clients how to use them, um, you know, what to do with them, some different demos to do with them. It's really super duplicatable and easy to do right in your salon or spa and offer to your clients. I even did this one online. It can be done online. So it's very um, versatile that way as well. The next one is all about skin. So it goes into skincare and how to help your clients that way. And let me tell you, clients love these because they get to be a part of it. They get to try the products. They get to um, you know, ask questions and they're, it's uplifting and fun with other people with them. It's your time to shine workshop is a application workshop where they actually get to do their own makeup, um, which is so empowering for your customer to be able to actually do their own makeup. And I love this one because for me, it's hard when people come in and I do their makeup and they go, Oh, I just will never get it to look like this myself. And for me, that just breaks my heart because I want them to be able to 
you know, utilize these products and use them every single day and feel comfortable using them. And that's where this workshop plays um, such a big key is because they get to now come in and you get to work with them and they get to do it themselves, but they feel so good. They're with other women who are lifting them up and they get to try things they've never tried. Maybe try eyeliner that they never tried or, or an eye look or whatever. And it just makes it really fun. Um, and just something unique that, you know, there's not a lot of places offering workshops, you know, in this area. And it's something you do online or in person. And then the last one is the Blend Your Beauty event. Um, and you guys just remember, these are just events that the company as a whole came out with to help you guys and make it duplicatable so you can help other salons implement this as well and work together. But this, just remember these, you can do whatever you want. You can, you know, make up your own workshops, but these are just ones that are in place that I know as beauty professionals, we're very busy and we don't want to, we don't want to recreate the wheel all the time. So this is something that we can just put in place. It's already laid out for us. So Blend Your Beauty event is working with our custom blend cosmetics line where it's, I almost like to look at this one as a, like when people paint, like paint your party or whatever, and they make like a canvas board and they pay however much money and then they get to paint something and they take it home with them. So this is the same workshop type of thing, but it's actually where they're making their own customized foundation makeup. So they, as the customer, get to make it. You get to walk them through step-by-step, step, but it's a fun event where it's just interactive. They're making it, and now they get to take it home with them. So it's really, really neat. And as an entrepreneur, your exist existence revolves around the people you intend to serve, just like we were talking about, right? Here we go. So as I'm walking through this, we're wrapping up here in just a few minutes, but as I'm walking through this, you guys, um, these are some of the partnership options that we have and what makes Motives and the unfranchised business so unique. One of those being the Motives Apprenticeship Program. So this is for ages 13 to 17 or 18, I should say, um, under 18, that can partner, you can actually mentor and, and hire or bring on an apprentice, I should say, um, to work alongside you. They get their own website and they um, get to retail products to their friends and family, but it's maybe someone who is looking to get in the beauty industry and want to get their feet wet, but not sure how. This is a great program for them to start with, but they're also able to make a little bit of money as an apprentice too, which is really, really neat. The Modus Pro Artist Program is our pro discount program, is what I like to say. But what makes this so different? Um, and I think this is a great place to start for a lot of salon spas, depending on what they're um, looking for. For, but the Motives Pro Artist Program offers the um, artist to get a discount on the product. So they'll get the product at wholesale. But what makes it so different is they can actually, they actually get their own website and they can retail it. So I believe it costs $40 for an entire year subscription for the website um, to be a pro artist. You do have to apply just like you would with any other pro artist program or discount, pro discount program. Um, and you do have to show that you're an artist within the industry. It's not just for everybody. Um, so that is something that's a really unique opportunity. The Modus Pro account, I am not going to chat on today because I don't know that um, they that was kind of a test program, and I'm not sure if that's in full effect right now. Um, but the next one I'm going to skip over to is the Modus Professional or Beauty Advisor, which is an unfranchised owner. That is how I chose to align myself with the products and services within Starstruck Artistry. So there you are actually able to create and leverage not only your talents, but the talents of many others and work together. I actually get the pleasure of working alongside my boyfriend within the same company like I was talking about, how the umbrella company um, on franchise business, marketamericashop.com, all the same, um, you know, Motives falls underneath that. My boyfriend actually works in the website development division um, and he sells websites, but we are able to leverage and work with each other. Um, and there's also, I work with health professionals and other hairstylists and um, massage therapists and all these different people. And we're able to work together on a team and create residual income together. And it's really, really a cool opportunity. And that um, would be something, I would say this is a great place to start this webinar to get information for you guys. I'll kind of take you through the next steps in the next couple slides. Um, but a really good next step for you would just to be to evaluate our marketing plan and see how it works and see if there's a way um, for you to leverage that within your space. And I think it's the most beneficial um, partnership to go with, but it just kind of depends on where you're at in your business and what you can, what you wanna, you know, what, what your dreams or goals are and aspirations to move forward. 
So with all of these partnerships, you get welcome guides and materials and marketing materials and tools and all of this great stuff to, um, you know, help you um, not only brand yourself, but, you know, have all of these tools in place to be able to work right alongside into your business as well. Whether, so whether it's offering individual consultations that excite you, hosting educational application workshops, or taking a B2B approach and implementing with professional accounts like salons and spas, you can do it all within one company. So that's where you see me, you guys. Um, you know, I am a makeup artist. I use all of these products and services, you know, behind the chair, but then also I love serving the beauty industry and working and partnering with other salons and spas. So that's why I do webinars like this to be able to see if we can, you know, work together and, you know, how can I best help you as a salon or spa? And I know times are different and um, it just the industry as a whole is changing completely. It, and it has been for years and we have to figure out how to get ahead of that. So I'm here to help with any way, shape or form I can, you know, and have the most utmost confidence that you are always offering the best of the best products paired with cutting edge technology and a community of others who are cheering you on for your success, which I love. So, um, you know, just kind of wrapping it up here, you know, what is culture code providing our clients the best products in the marketplace at affordable pricing? You know, these are just some of the key points that, you know, you can take away as we wrap it up. So the ability to host workshops, clinics that offer free education, which is huge. Um, focused on beauty from the inside out, ability to customize skincare regimens. Remember those two trends that you're going to see happening more and more in our industry. Um, you are already going to be on top of those. Specialize in custom blend cosmetics and fun, adding value to those who we craft, pa cross paths with. So I'm just going to touch on a little bit of the education that we have as a company, you guys. And when I touch on this, you guys, this is these prices you're going to see on this education is crazy for our industry because it can be so, so expensive. So some of the, um, like, I like to say there's different tiers of education. So the first tier in the motives, um, in motion curriculum is the motives 101, motives one-to-one, skincare one-to-one, and motives custom blend your beauty. All these trainings are $30, but right now they're doing them online for half the price. So until we're able to get back in person, I believe they are scheduling these online and they're $15 a piece. Um, these are like three to four, I think they're four hour trainings. So that is like well worth your money and you will definitely take something away, I promise you, from all of those. Then we have the $15 workshops, which I believe are now either five or $10. Um, they're, I think, two hours there's the motives marketing. So it's going to teach you how to market yourself as a business and how to, you know, leverage the motives platform as well. Advanced skincare solutions. So this is going to dig deeper into skincare, um, different skincare issues that people have, how to combat those issues and how to give them a solution. Advanced custom blending. So now you're going to learn about how to custom blend in the original workshop. This one's going to teach you how to make um, like other cosmetics outside of foundation. The Art of You is a guided makeup application workshop. So it will actually teach you different ways to apply makeup, which is really fun. Um, and then this is something they actually had yesterday and it's happening right now today online. They switched it over and I'm not sure when these will go back in person, if these dates will change or not, but they have a Motives Beauty and Business Academy. So if you're looking to offer a B2B approach um, and work business to business with salons and spas. This is a course I would recommend taking. If you are a salon owner or anyone in the beauty industry, I would recommend taking this too. Um, I took this in person back in Milwaukee a few years ago, and it is honest to goodness, one of the best beauty professional trainings I've ever been to. It was full of personal development. It was full of um, product knowledge. It was full of branding and marketing tools. It was like a little bit of everything. It was two days and it was a little bit of everything wrapped into one, which was, it was phenomenal. So I recommend this is, it is only happens a couple times a year and it, it's around the United States. But if you can get to one, I would highly recommend it. And I'm not sure that these dates are up to date as things have changed with that. You can head to motivesacademy.com for more information on that. So the next steps, um, our brand is built solely on the word of mouth and we pride ourselves on customizing the journey for each individual. Let us know how we can service you moving forward and we thank you for your time and support. So if, um, you know, if I invite you to this or if somebody else invites you to jump on to this, 
Um, please reach out with any questions that you may have, but maybe you just want to try some product. You're not really sure, um, you know, if you want to try some makeup, if you want to try skincare or wellness, we can get you some samples of that. Maybe you're looking to get this in front of some of your um, clients and you want to host an event either virtually or maybe in person soon, hopefully. Um, but contact the person who invited you to this and we can get you information on how to do that. And you don't even have to do anything. We can come in and work with you and your clients and be able to offer, you know, the solutions for that. And then what I would truly recommend is evaluating our marketing plan. Um, if you're watching this live today, um, which is Monday the 18th, I had to double check on the date. Um, you, I will be hosting, Dan and I will be hosting a um, present business presentation tomorrow, which is Tuesday, May 19th at 7 30 PM. So please message me or message a person who invited you and they can plug you into a um, business presentation to check out the marketing plan. Um, but please check that out. If you haven't yet, um, even if you're evaluating this for a um, friend who maybe you're not even in the beauty industry, or you may know somebody in the beauty industry, my goal personally is just to get this out to as many people as possible because I, you never know who this might impact and who I might be able to help. And I think that as a company as a whole, that's what we're looking to do. Um, it fires me up because I know there's so many avenues that I have in solutions to help people and I just want to help. Um, I truly do. I want to get to know um, you and your business and what you're doing and how can we best align with what you're doing, um, you know, and maybe the timing's not right for you right now, but maybe down the road, but keep us in the back of your mind when you're thinking of bringing in a cosmetic line or a skincare line or a wellness solution, um, you know, in that way. But I just really want to um, thank you guys all so much for jumping on here. Um, this probably went a little longer than anticipated. Um, I always talk a little bit more than what I think I will on here, but please reach out to the person that invited you to either listen in. I will have this recorded. So if you're watching this recorded, no problem. Just feel free to reach out to the person who invited you to watch it and, or me for that matter. And I'll get you more information and point you in the right direction. Um, but I just want to leave you guys all with all of this at the end. You know, if you keep doing the same thing, nothing's going to change. So I think all of us, in the beauty industry and outside of the industry have really come to um, see that things are changing and that we have to be on top of what's going on and the trends that are happening. And our clients now more than ever are gonna be looking for new innovative um, products and services. And I really do believe that we have a great solution for a lot of people and it might not be for everybody, but I do feel like we do have a great solution for a lot of people. So um, feel free, like I said, to reach out and I will let you guys go enjoy the rest of the day or night or whenever you're watching this. But thank you so much for your time. It is truly the best gift you could give me. So thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your day.